If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To remove duplicate records from a table in Access, right-click the table from which to remove duplicates in the navigation pane. Then choose the Copy command from the pop-up menu that appears. Then right-click into the table list in the navigation pane and choose the Paste command from the pop-up menu that appears. Doing that then opens the Paste Table As dialog box. In this dialog box, type a name for the copy of the table you are about to create and select the Structure Only Option button in the Paste Options section of the dialog box. Then click the OK button. Next, open the copy of the table structure you just made in Table Design View. If there are any primary key field assignments, remove them by selecting the primary key field or fields and then clicking the primary key button in the Tools button group on the Design tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then select the combination of fields by which to determine if there are duplicates in the original table data and then click the primary key button again to assign the unique combination of values produced by the selected fields as the new primary key for the new copy of the table. Remember, the purpose of a primary key is to eliminate duplicate values within a table. So once that is done, click the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar to save the structural changes you made. At that point, Create an append query to append the records from the original table that contains the duplicate records into the new table structure. When you run the append query, any records that contain duplicate values in the primary key field or duplicate combined values in a multi-field primary key will not be appended into the copy of the table. You should see an error message that says a certain number of rows were not appended due to table key violations. Those are the duplicate records, so you may append the records that were not removed into the copy you created. At that point, the copy of the original table should contain the duplicate-free records. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.